Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 best PS4 games of all time. For this list, we're taking a look at the best titles we saw throughout the PlayStation 4's life cycle. Do note that we are only including exclusives, and we're not counting cross-gen titles. Which of these games do you feel is a requirement for every PS4 owner to play? Let us discuss in a civil manner down in the comments. Number 20. Days Gone Get off me! Just because we're putting Days Gone at the bottom does not make it the worst of the PS4 exclusives. Much like the rest of our list, Days Gone manages to tell a solid story while immersing us in a captivating, albeit morbid, zombie apocalypse. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, freaker apocalypse. Ugh. On top of that, the gunplay and swarms of zom- EXCUSE ME! Freakers makes every combat encounter tense and thrilling. So, why so low? Well, it's a bit hard to recommend to anyone who is mildly annoyed by all the zombie movies and TV shows that crop up as frequently as they do. It comes off as unoriginal. But this is also why we have the phrase, don't judge a book by its cover. You goddamn liar! Do it. Number 19. Detroit Become Human. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. Regardless of whether you like or loathe developer Quantic Dream for its emotional stories, Detroit Become Human is by far their best work. Set in a future where humanoid robots are mankind's servants, players follow Kara, an android on the run with her owner's daughter, Marcus, a caretaker android who soon discovers his free will, and Connor, an android of the police who assists a discriminating, alcoholic investigator. Every character is well written, fully fleshed out in their personality and storyline, and with all of the different choices to choose from, you'll want to see every possible ending after your initial playthrough. God. Number 18. Concrete Genie. Poor Concrete Genie got overshadowed by the PlayStation 5 as Sony talked about their new console on the game's launch day. But we see you, Concrete Genie! Developer Pixelopus brought us a beautiful tale about a lonesome boy who discovers a magical paintbrush, allowing him to create monsters and restore color back to his home. Whereas most art-themed games resort to giving you a sketchbook and saying, draw something, Concrete Genie gives you enough freedom to make its world your own and its charming monsters, wondrous story, and chill atmosphere serve as an excellent game to play for an evening from start to finish. <laughs> Number 17. Medieval Another title overshadowed by the news of the PS5, Medieval was a remake that stayed true to the original for better and worse, even though it retains the clunky controls in combat back in 1998. Venturing out as Sir Daniel Fortesque felt just as exciting as it did back in 1998. The world of Galomir has new life breathed into its dark and dismal landmarks thanks to the power of the PS4, and the character animation perfectly complements the top-notch sound design. Oh, and the fact that you can unlock the original game by achieving a 100% completion? Truly, this is one of the best remakes ever, even with its flaws.
Number 16. Everybody's Golf. Cause when we raise them high, every hand in the sky, we're the super fans. It isn't often that we get a truly exceptional golf game, and rarely did the Everybody's Golf series, or Hot Shots as North Americans know it, under-deliver. Everybody's Golf was essentially the ultimate golfing experience. Along with a handful of cleverly designed courses, the game came with a vast assortment of cosmetics and character customization while celebrating the king's game. Not only did it test your skills on the course, it also tested your knowledge of the sport and terminology and even allowed you to participate in some fun golf cart racing. Regardless, if you're a casual or hardcore golf fan, this was worth the price of admission. Yeah. Number 15. Little Big Planet 3. Admittedly, the Little Big Planet series was growing a bit tiresome at this point, but that doesn't make its third main entry any less spectacular. LBP3 came out with its own slew of creative ideas, its main focus being the different playable characters. Swoop, Toggle, and Oddsock each brought new mechanics and concepts to the franchise with their different abilities, paving the way for players to come up with fresh ideas for their own levels and games to upload. Basically, it was another charming adventure with Sackboy and friends and another good experience excuse to exercise our imagination for an afternoon. Number 14. Until Dawn. Now, we can be honest and say that Until Dawn isn't exactly a perfect candidate compared to most other horror games, specifically when it comes to character animation. However, we would argue that its uncanny looks add to the discomfort it carries with its campy tone. Despite its occasional cheesiness, Until Dawn still managed to bring the scares, and they came hard. From quick time events to collecting totems to telling your therapist what terrifies you the most, the game invites you to participate in its TV-like narrative while throwing a few curveballs. Even if you're only remotely into horror, this is well worth your time. <laughs> Number 13. Shadow of the Colossus There was much debate over whether or not we should include Shadow of the Colossus on this list. Honestly, how many times can you remake or remaster the same game? Even with that question, this is ultimately the definitive version of the PS2 classic. We could go on about the visual fidelity all day, with the improved draw distance, highly detailed textures and environments, and everything. The real improvements here are in the controls. Certain movements and mechanics have been more streamlined, making them easier to understand for new players. In other words, it's a remake that far surpasses the original in more ways than just having a fresh coat of paint. Number 12. Tearaway Unfolded First-party UK-based studio Media Molecule didn't have a strong presence during the PS4 era. Little Big Planet 3 was mostly developed by Tencent-owned studio Sumo Digital. This isn't to say they didn't put out a banger of their own with Tearaway Unfolded. 
An enhanced remake of their 2013 PlayStation Vita game, Tearaway Unfolded added a plethora of new levels and ideas that weren't possible on the Vita and even went so far as to design concepts around the PS4's hardware and the DualShock controller. Brimming with cleverness and personality, this was a game that could turn any frown upside down. Number 11. The Last of Us, Part 2. We are very well aware of just how contentious The Last of Us has become within not just the PlayStation community, but gaming in general. We can understand how many would perceive the game as shocking for the sake of being shocking, and the dozen or so hours spent with Abby were not exactly what gamers were expecting. However, it would be an injustice to neglect the technical achievements in The Last of Us Part II, specifically in its complex AI and massive wealth of accessibility features. Companies looking to reach more people with their games should take note of the latter. Number 10. Infamous Second Son. Considering the PlayStation 4 was just barely a year old, Second Son was a promising start to a new era of the platform. Yes, some of us were disappointed about Delson Rowe replacing Cole McGrath, to each their own, but you cannot ignore the creativity and marvel behind this game. Developer Sucker Punch Productions got crazy with the smoke, neon, concrete, and video powers? Neat and unconventional ideas. And it may not be the best game in the franchise, but it's still worthy of being called one of the PS4's greatest titles. Number 9. Astrobot Rescue Mission We were debating whether to leave off PSVR games, but since they require a PS4 in order to run, we couldn't leave off our adorable Astro. Astrobot Rescue Mission was exactly what the PSVR needed to get PS4 owners to jump into the world of VR. Not mentioning the fact we already had PS4s, you know? It isn't enough to just move Astro around. Every level requires some degree of interaction in order to progress, and you'll find so many cleverly hidden secrets as you venture forth. Astro Bot Rescue Mission is a miraculous joyride, and it's some of the most fun three hours you'll ever have. Number 8. Final Fantasy VII Remake These sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. How do you remake a game as magnificent and expansive as Final Fantasy VII? A tall order for most studios. For Square Enix, though, it was worth every nickel and dime. Final Fantasy VII Remake was a pure passion project, as it expanded upon every character's backstory, including ones who were only supporting cast members, and the reworked combat system managed to incorporate new and modern ideas without sacrificing those featured in the original. But if you haven't played the original, we highly recommend you go play the first before jumping into this one you'll realize why this was such a big deal to so many players. Let us defy destiny together. Cloud, there's still so much to be done. Number 7. Uncharted 4 – A Thief's End We all know that Uncharted 2 will probably be the best game in the franchise until the day it dies. However, Uncharted 4 came super close to overthrowing it. 
its only stumble being just a little bit slower in his pacing. Even so, this was the perfect send-off for Nathan Drake. The semi-open world approach was pulled off surprisingly well, the story was cleverly written and compelling from start to finish, and it perfectly closes Nathan Drake's story. It's easily one of the best games to come from Naughty Dog in recent years, and it's a must-play, assuming you've already played the first three games. Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? Number 6. Ratchet and Clank Don't worry, this is the last time we'll be talking about remakes on this list. And of them all, Ratchet & Clank was the best of the batch. Though it has some problems with how it severs aspects of what made the original game so great, like the scrappy attitude, it still manages to bring some major improvements. For example, the weapon reel functions more closely with the later games, giving players pause to assess their situation and carefully select from their arsenal. Hardcore fans might not appreciate the ultra G-rated tone, but this was a great way to keep fans satisfied until Rift Apart launched on PS5. Did that guy just slide down a sewer pipe? Number 5. Horizon Zero Dawn New IPs come and go. Sony struck gold here, though. Horizon Zero Dawn managed to surpass its ultra-generic name and bring us an experience unlike any other. We could spend hours dissecting the puzzles, lore, and characters, but the stars of the show here are the combat and enemy design. The way the dinosaur-like machines are constructed helps you recognize where potential weak points are and gives you an idea which tools are right for the job. Sure, the animation can seem uncanny at times, but it's easy to look past when the game plays this well. Number 4. Marvel's Spider-Man With the Batman Arkham games having ended, it was only a matter of time before Marvel got a Batman Arkham of their own. In comes Insomniac Games with Marvel's Spider-Man, promising a new age of not just superhero games, but licensed games as a whole. Breathtaking visuals, thrilling combat, satisfying web-slinging, and a compelling story are wrapped up in one webby package here. And none of it is marred in exaggerated swagger. We would happily put it up higher if only it didn't have those dull stealth missions with MJ and Miles. Sorry, Spidey! So, should we kiss now? Yeah, maybe later. Number 3. God of War <laughs> <laughs> you. Finally. Despite what other outlets might try to say, the older God of War games are still fantastic games today, bloodthirsty rage and all. As for God of War 2018, it manages to fit that same combo-fueled action while also hitting differently in several ways. The epic and booming soundtrack, the unique environments, the way you can mix your axe and blades with Atreus's archery, the impacts you feel visually and audibly when you recall the Leviathan Axe. It all makes you feel like a powerhouse, and even on the easiest difficulty, God of War does its damn hardest to kick you down and help you hone your skills. Our only complaint? Man, Midgard houses a lot of trolls! Boy. Uh, think I'm afraid of you! Number 2. Bloodborne. Oh, Bloodborne. 
You have been done a tremendous disservice. With your splendidly morbid atmosphere, your depressing and dark characters, your relentless boss fights, and harsh embrace of death, you deserve so much more. As fans of PlayStation and From Software games, it's incredibly hard to say a game is better, nay, superior, than you. So why must we do this? Why must we betray our good graces towards you and put you at number two? Four words, 30 frames per second. An unfair judgment upon you, considering modern times, yes, but a judgment nonetheless. So, Sony, put this game on PS5 already and make it 60, damn it! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Ghost of Tsushima We'd like to take a moment to say that every game featured on this list is fantastic in its own ways. Every game on this list is 100% a must-own for anyone who has a PS4. But when discussing games that are on the cusp of perfection, Ghost of Tsushima was the closest to achieve that. A well-written story, exceptional combat that enforces patience and skill, a wealth of exciting adventures to live out your samurai and or ninja fantasy, a free expansion that allowed us to play with friends. It ticked every box. The only complaint we had was the sheer number of Inari shrines, and even that is a trivial criticism. Every PS4 owner needs to play the games we mentioned here, but if there is one that defines the generation, it was Ghost of Tsushima. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.